Today let us take up the concept of sacrifice and ratio from the lesson admission of a partner. Now first of all let us try to understand what is a sacrificing ratio. Supposing there are uh, two partners in a firm and uh, they admit a new partner into the partnership. Right? Now that new partner has to be given a share in the profits and that uh, new partner's share is actually given by the old partners. So what they do is uh, they sacrifice a part of their share and give it to the new partner. So all the existing partners they will sacrifice some portion of their share in order to give the share to the new partner. In some cases it may be that only one or two partners are uh, sacrificing. Supposing you have four partners in a firm and it is decided that two partners sacrifice a part of their uh, uh, profits so that the new partner gets his share. Okay. Now let us uh, try to put it down here. In order to accommodate the new partner, the old partners agree to reduce their shares so that the new partner gets his share in the profits of the firm. Right? So that means each partner makes a sacrifice by reducing their shares, right? The formula for calculating the sacrificing ratio is sacrificing ratio is equal to the old ratio minus the new ratio, okay? This is the formula here for calculating the sacrificing ratio right yeah. okay now I'll take up a small question to show you how the sacrificing ratio is calculated supposing we have this A and K share profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 they admit B with 1 sixth share calculate the new ratio and the sacrificing ratio right now we have the old ratio here, old ratio of A is to K is equal to 3 upon 5 is to 2 upon 5, right? Okay. Now, in this case, I will take like this. Let the total profit be, let the total profit equal to 1. So, what is the remaining profit? So, here, B's share is given as 1 by 6. So, the remaining profit will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 6 that will be equal to 5 by 6. Right? Okay. Now, A and K are the existing partners. So, here I will write A's share in the remaining profit because 1 by 6 share is already given to the new partner. So, the remaining share is only 5 by 6. So, A's share in the remaining profit will be equal to 5 by 6 into 3 by 5. 3 by 5 is his share. So, 5 by 6 is the remaining profit and 3 by 5 is his share. So, it will be 15 upon 30. Right? Same way you calculate it for K. K 
K's share in the remaining profit will be equal to again 5 by 6 into his ratio was 2 by 5. So that comes to 5 to the 10, 10 upon 30. Fine. So this is the new share for A and K. So now I can write the new ratio of A is to K is to B will be 15 upon 30 is to 10 upon 30 is to 1 upon 6 right so here I'll take a common uh, denominator it should be like this 15 upon 30 is to 10 upon 30 is to now here the denominator should be 30 so that means uh, it will become 5 upon 30 right 5 upon 30 so this becomes 15 is to 10 is to 5 or we can write it as 3 is to 2 is to 1 so the new ratio of the partners is equal to 3 is to 2 is to 1 okay now you have to find the sacrificing ratio right now as we had put down earlier the sacrificing ratio is equal to the old ratio minus the new ratio right so I have to calculate A's sacrificing ratio first a's old ratio was 3 upon 5 3 upon 5 minus the new ratio uh, we calculated it over here we can take this uh, 15 uh, by 30 right okay so I'll take it like this minus 15 upon 30 right so this will be 30 is a denominator 6 3 is a 18 it will be 18 minus 15 ok so 18 minus 15 this will be equal to 3 upon 30 right same way you have to calculate k's sacrificing ratio this will be his old share was 2 upon 5 and his new share which we calculated here that is 10 upon 30 right so this will be 10 upon 30 so this comes to 30 is the denominator again and this is 6 again 6 to the 12 12 minus 10 so this becomes equal to 30 here and here it is 2 right so the sacrificing ratio of a is to k is coming as 3 upon 30 is to 2 upon 30 so that basically reduces to 3 is to 2 right which is equal to 3 is to 2 so here we have calculated the uh, sacrificing ratio the sacrificing ratio is 3 is to 2 right and we had to calculate the new ratio because without that new ratio we can't calculate the sacrificing ratio 
the new ratio is calculated here the old ratio is already given to you in the question so the sacrificing ratio becomes equal to the old ratio minus the new ratio right so this is how we calculate uh, the sacrificing ratio in some of the questions it can be like only one partner is contributing uh, to the new partner's share so in that case uh, like it can be something like this supposing i have something like this here x and y share profits in the ratio of 4 is to 1 right they admit is it with 1 fifth share and this he gets on the from x okay so y is not contributing anything so you have to calculate the new ratio and sacrificing ratio now in this case the old ratio of x and y it is given as 4 by 5 is to 1 by 5 okay now the ratio of z share of z is share of z is given as 1 upon 5 okay so in this case x is making this sacrifice of 1 upon 5 because 1 upon 5 is his share that is the share of z and the whole thing he is getting from x only so that means x is making the sacrifice of 1 upon 5 right so i i can write something like this the new ratio of x will be equal to 4 upon 5 that is his old share minus what he is sacrificing here that is 1 upon 5 so this becomes equal to 3 upon 5 right so this is very simple here new ratio will be equal to 3 upon 5 for x okay 1 upon 5 for y and 1 upon 5 for z so the new ratio comes as 3 is to 1 is to 1 fine now the sacrificing ratio as we already saw the sacrificing ratio is the old ratio minus the new ratio so let's do it for x the sacrificing ratio for x will be 4 by 5 minus 3 by 5 that will be equal to 1 by 5 right as far as y is concerned y it is 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 he is not sacrificing anything this is equal to 0 that means it is nil so you can also have questions like this in which only one partner is sacrificed right so with that i come to the end of this session on sacrificing ratio